I know you stole his money. Just like you stole my purse. Hello, people. Welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be talking about the ambitious BBC adaptation of the Man Booker Prize winning novel, The Luminaries. Here's everything you need to know about what to expect for season two of the series. But wait, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe as we post videos of your favorite shows daily. So will there be a second season of The Luminaries or will the show get canceled? The Luminaries is a new BBC Sunday night show that includes mystery and drama that takes place during New Zealand's 1860s gold rush. You've probably kept count of all the six parts this drama series has, but you're now wondering whether or not a second season of the show will be made. The show aired on BBC One, and if you want to see it again, feel free to do so on BBC iPlayer. The bad news here is that BBC has not made any sort of announcement whether the show will start filming its second season. But hey, let's focus on the bright side. It hasn't canceled it either. The problem with creating another season isn't because the series received bad reviews, but it is because the novel it's based on doesn't have a sequel. Plus, if you study the way the series is built, it highly resembles a mini-series, and that usually means that there will only be one season. However, there are a limited series or mini-series that went on to release another season because the demand for a sequel of the show was high. So, we should not lose our hopes for The Luminaries just yet. What did Ewan Leslie reveal about The Luminary Season 2? Actor Ewan Leslie, who portrays Crosby Wells in the series, revealed in an interview that he doesn't have a clue whether or not a second series would be released. He believes that it was just a BBC miniseries. However, he did express that he wishes that there would be some sort of spin-off for his character because he died at the end. So even if there would be a second season of the show, he would most likely not be a part of it. Leslie then said that if Eleanor Catton would accept to be the writer of the show or write the sequel to the book, then BBC will most likely pitch in for another season. But the whole Eleanor Catton writing the sequel thing could be completely overcome because many other successful shows have gone past the novel they were based on and went off to release other seasons, such as the series called The Handmaid's Tale. But as far as we know about how BBC behaves in these situations, it would likely not accept to release another season without Catton being there. They have always requested the mastermind of the novels to continue producing content once a show runs out of ideas it can base itself on. Let's face it, the show was pretty unique, and we're eager to get to see more episodes of it. Leslie also talked about what made this series have such a compelling storyline. He said that the center of the love story that exists between the characters that are played by Hamish Patel and Eve Hawson is very transportive. The actor then explained that people enjoy watching this kind of romance from time to time. Another thing the actor believes why this series left viewers wanting more was the fact that it had a lot of magic added to it, making it suck viewers into a unique journey. If there will ever be an announcement of the second season of this show, we will immediately make a video about it, so make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified of when that moment comes. What does the ending of The Luminaries mean for season two? The show is fully adapted from page to screen, so it basically is written by Eleanor Catton. BBC promised us the drama that would be both suspenseful and intricate, and to say the least, it didn't disappoint us at all. The combination of the themes of mystery, romance, and magic with a touch of 1860s vibe in the New Zealand era gave all of us a rush that we rarely get the chance to experience. The series includes Anna Wetherell, who is portrayed by the actress Eve Hewson, as she does anything in her power to try and prove to people that she is not a murderer. The series follows her through this journey while navigating a magical bond with Emery Staines, with whom she happens to fall deeply in love. In the final episode, Anna is on the verge of facing the death penalty, but she tries to save herself by using the letters that Crosby Wells sent to his half-brother, Alistair Lauterbach, so she could prove that the pair had never met before to prove a point that Francis Carver, disguised as Crosby, just to by Godspeed. With luck being on Anna's side, Carver comes clean and admits that it was him who killed Crosby. After being presumed dead, Emery then decides to continue with Anna. The couple's supernatural bond gives Anna the ability to write out Emery's signature on the deed of gold. Emery then confirms that Anna is illiterate in court and later makes a fake testimony just so she could be proven innocent. Anna is set free and cleared of all charges, while Emery is sentenced to nine months of hard labor. Carver then gets transported to prison, when all of a sudden, Talware appears out of nowhere, enters Carver's carriage, and murders him as revenge for killing his best friend Crosby. On the other hand, Lydia is 
left with no one by her side and miserable. Anna approaches her with a few words before making her take the gold that Lydia had put in the dresses. Anna then leaves knowing that she will be reunited with Emery after his sentence is finished. The reason why Lydia wasn't punished for her crimes. The ending had quite a clear explanation, but there are still things that do not add up. Things that might have been left out just in case season 2 will get released. There are two explanations we can give as to how Lydia escaped her charges. One was that Carver defends her and claims that she wasn't involved in the crime whatsoever. Emery also reveals that Carver was the person who stole Anna's purse. This all let Lydia loose. But while she still faces some sort of punishment, it feels as if she's been lightly punished following the crime she did. Emery understands that confessing for himself is the best option as his main focus is not proving who is guilty, but getting Anna and himself off the hook. If we see this from the storyline perspective, we can see that the fact that Lydia manages to dodge a harsh punishment makes the ending of the story more interesting and less obvious. So maybe the whole aim of leaving Lydia off the hook was so that the show could leave things open regardless interpretation. Tawer might be an astral twin switching souls. Throughout all six episodes of the show, Tawer's presence has kept us as intrigued as it has kept us confused. Carver attempts to kill Tawer after leaving Crosby's house, but he is then surprised to figure out that Tawer is still alive and has survived the attack. The only clue that we can come up with as to why he survived the shooting was his green stone necklace. There's a high chance that the necklace might have caught the bullet, but if it is that simple, it is quite interesting that the show considers this as a plot twist. Tawer also successfully gets inside Carver's carriage without being spotted and disappears, leaving no trace afterward. This might be because he's a clever and agile character, but we're doubting that this is the only explanation as to why he is so lucky. We are wondering whether or not the things that happen to Tawer have something to do with the fact that he has some sort of supernatural powers of his own. Maybe that greenstone necklace we were talking about earlier can be the source of his power. Hours. What do you guys think? We think that he might be an astral twin that has been switching souls with another character. At least this explains why he escaped getting injured in a similar way Anna did. This also makes sense considering the fact he believed her when other people didn't. However, Lydia has a lot of other things we are left unsure of. By the time the show ends, we can't stop but realize that her energy and powers have started fading out. So there's a chance that she might become a more positive character if a second season of the show is released. But if she continues to focus on greed, this might lead her to face justice in the future. We still have a lot of questions, and a second season would be perfect to answer them all. It would also give us further updates on the life of Anna and Emery and what happened to them. We last saw Anna panning for gold and trying to carve her future instead of waiting for Emery to come back. With just one season being released, there is truly no way we can detect whether or not this couple had a happy ending or not. But since the two have no ordinary bond, we think think that they are meant to be together even in other seasons. Where will The Luminaries Season 2 be filmed? Considering that most of the filming of the show was shot in New Zealand's North Island, Auckland, we're thinking that the series will have the same destination for Season 2. This destination was mainly chosen because of the desirability of its geography and picturesque scenery that fit perfectly within the theme of the movie. The series might also film in Waitangi, in the Bay of Islands. The place is located on the east coast of New Zealand's North Island, but the first episode of the show will possibly be filmed in Hokitika. This is because the destination was used for the last episode of the show. So, will the Luminaries make a sequel, or will it just end with its sixth episode? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. See you guys in our next upload.